I'm traveling right now. I'm in Vancouver, as you can see over my shoulder. But I decided to do a quick video about how to install AMOS for the Amiga. And while I'm going to be using emulation, as I said, I'm traveling, it should apply for the real Amiga. And when I get back, I'll be installing it on my classic Amiga, my Amiga 500. One of the reasons I'm starting with Amos is because I remember fondly Stoss on the Atari ST. Back in the day, my brother bought an Atari ST. It was £100 cheaper than the Amiga. So I only had a real Amiga this year. And I remember the Stoss very fondly. I had Stoss, I had the compiler, I had a sound sampler, and I even used a video digitizer with it. And Stoss was essentially a game maker's basic and i started out with basic age nine with my commodore vic 20. so even though i'm going to cover other things in this series for programming the amiga i'm going to look at c i'm going to look at assembler i'm going to look at a couple of different versions of basic amos is a really good place to start so let's get into it <laughs> So the first place you can get Amos is actually GitHub because the founder of Amos, the creator, Francois, has made it freely available. So you can download the source code. We don't actually need the source code. All we need is the Amos folder within this repo. And that contains everything we need for a full copy of Amos Professional. So we download the zip and extract it. And then we can get the AMOS folder out of that and put it on our Amiga or our emulation. So once we've extracted it, we can go into the folder and we just need to copy the AMOS folder. And that will give us AMOS Pro and some example basic files. So we can copy this to our shared emulation folder. So in this case, Amiga HD, and then we can boot up our Amiga Forever install, find the shared folder, show all files, and then we can go in to where we downloaded it. And it should be there at Amos Pro. The other place we can get it is some helpful individual has created a AMOS install for Windows that contains an emulator, WinUAE, and it's using the free AROS, the open source Amiga operating system. It's not an original Amiga OS, it's the open source version of Amiga OS called AROS. And that means you can get up and running straight away. It goes straight into AMOS, just like an old 8-bit computer like the Commodore 64 would boot into BASIC. And that just means that you're straight in and it'll start working immediately. So just to test it out, I'll just do a quick hello world here. So if you print hello world, it'll display hello world on the screen. If instead we do a for loop, and we'll get into loops, later in this series. I do for x equals 0 to 100, and then print, and then next x, it'll do hello world between 0 and 100 times. So that's basically 101, right? So that works. Now, the third and final way that we can set up AMOS is by using the hard drive that was created for this and we can put it into our emulator
to set up the compiler, you need to add it. So all we have to do is find it on our machine and then add it, and then we can run it from the Amos menus. As you can see, there are lots of examples and tutorials here. I'll just open a couple of examples just to show you what AMOS is capable of. And remember, this is under emulation, so it's going to be faster than an Amiga 500 without any accelerator. But it's a really capable language. It's designed for programming games, and that means that it's got sprites, it's got blitter support, it's got scrolling support, it can do images, it can do sounds. It can do everything that you need to do a game.